beautiful baby girl is guaranteed to melt your heart. Oh, that little girl Amber who was here before. So cute. So cute. <laughs> However, they do grow into teenagers. Mm -hmm. And be warned, they can turn on you. Would you stop it? No, I won't. I won't. No, it's okay. I guess I'll just turn in. Just so you know, there's a fan in my cabin that sounds like someone crying. No. Dylan, wait! I hate you! Oh, come on, Haley, get back here! Oh, so what do you do if your daughter tells you she hates you? The well, author, Danielle Miller, Miller and mm. Colin. <laughs> <laughs> I've been drinking this morning, but I haven't, I swear to you. Oh, it's only Monday. And Angela Mollard are here to help us navigate our way through this. So hearing those three little words, and I think, and you were saying your yeah, daughter said my, this. My daughter's 12 and she's just hit the stage. She said, I hate you a few months ago. And then last week she told me to shut up twice and called me clueless as she walked out the front door. <gasps> um, How old is she? Sorry, she's 12, 12. But I, I feel oh. that I, you would be able to corroborate this, that 12-year-olds are kind of like what we were at 14, 15. Mm. And look... To be honest, it really, really hurts. Did it rock your world? It, it, look, even talking about it now, I can feel myself pricking up because yeah. this little person that I've raised from zero and her dad travelled a lot. She'd be nothing with without you. <laughs> <laughs> She'd be better off without me probably. But it really does hurt. And mm. I think we, we have all the things that we should say and, you know, this is how you deal with it. But it does hurt. And I think mm. acknowledging that it does hurt is fine. Just don't acknowledge it to your child. So I haven't said to her... Um, I, yes, actually, I have. I said, look, that hurt me, but I love you anyway. You know, I love you. She's, I think when she said, I hate you, I said, wow. yeah, I love you too. That, that would be really response. hard because the natural reaction would be <laughs> to give them a to slap. To go with yeah. a knife. <laughs> 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 like Behind a prisoner, old school prisoner style, yeah. elder press. Okay, and I, the thing that's different, I think, these days is that I remember sort of saying things with behind my mother's yeah, back. Always like, behind never do her face, you yeah. know. Or you do this one, you do this one. So what? Yeah, mm -hmm. So what? Hate you. Or the eye roll. You the classic eye. I get a lot of the eye rolling happening. My daughter hasn't hasn't said that she hates me. I'm sure she thinks it at times. Mm. But we've got to keep in mind that teenagers are very impulsive and emotional. I mean, we were at their age as well. So outbursts like this, often, you know, they just don't have that sort of filter, filter. Yeah. and and they mm -hmm. don't mean it and they tend to be very dramatic in terms of their language as well I mean they love everything passionately mm -hmm. and they can equally hate things with gusto so I think as parents it's important can to put you see it, in it coming I mean, I mean are there signs that your kids oh, gonna yeah. hate you like <coughs> is that one like <sighs> that is one and also when you're setting boundaries and limits on their freedom then mm. that's something that of course they're going to want to rebel against so it's not a new phenomena it, but, but it actually is a sign of good parenting it often. is exactly that's what yeah. I've read if they don't actually say those things to you it, sounds, it shows that you haven't set the boundaries so you yeah. have set the boundaries I think handling it is how you is the, is the key and they're going through this maelstrom of emotions and you I read somewhere that you actually have to be the rock so you have to be immovable and implacable and you have to keep your voice low and you have to speak just in a normal way and love them still while they're swirling like this around you. Oh, Can but I just, uh, sorry, no, you totally disagree? No, not at all. I was just going to say, but don't be too hard on yourself. I mean, at the end of the day, we're human, and I think it's really important to model to our children that we make mistakes too. Mm, mm. So if you do I have don't. a bit of a meltdown and cry, <laughs> that's okay to show yeah. them that, you know, we too feel these emotions, we too feel this pain. Yeah, yeah. guilt them, guilt them into <laughs> feeling bad, I say. <laughs> oh, I think you should write a parenting book, Sonia. Yeah. Grab the knife, guilt them. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just ask what, what your daughter was saying you were clueless about? Oh, Probably uh, everything. Uh, everything. Yeah. Look, the shut up was the worst one. She was in the water polo pool playing, mm. and I said, Mark your player, Mark your player, from the side, and she turned around in front of everybody and went, Shut up, Mum! And then mm. I was. Did you so go? You so shut up! Really <laughs> and everybody. she turned around at about two minutes later and went, "Yeah, but you were right." Yeah. Uh, but you know what? Our parents are embarrassing. I mean, yeah. I was watching Modern Family at home the other day, and my daughter just turned to me and said, "Your laughter is grotesque. Please stop laughing. It's hideous." We've got to go. Uh, okay, <laughs> guys, you embarrassed me enough. We've got to go. Thanks, ladies. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, ladies. Thank you, ladies. Coming up, we catch up with the blocks. You're going to catch up with us. Josh and Jenna. Shut up, David. You shut who up. controversially <laughs> took home the prize for best kitchen and laundry. Oh, you're in the laundry. But first is Jamie. You're Jamie. <laughs>